I'm Stephanie and let's talk books. So today we have part two of my Dragon Steel unboxing to do. You missed last week's where I unboxed uh, Dawn Shard and the Way of Kings Prime from the Way of Kings Leatherbind Kickstarter. I'll go ahead and leave that linked up in the cards for you guys. You can go check that out and come back and see what else I got from Dragon Steel. So the first thing out of the package is this cute Chabon sticker, which is really fabulous. This is one of the newer stickers that they've come out with the store. And you can see her, she is drawing. And I won't say anything else in case you haven't read the Stormlight Archives. It's a little, little spoilery. And I have a big box in here. And it's got something shiny inside. This is my birthday present to me, from me. I mean, technically it's from the hubby, but I bought it. And he just gets to take credit. Yes, it's so gorgeous. We have this beautiful book and it matches the other ones I have. Okay, let me go ahead and take it out of the plastic. So this is the Hero of Ages Leatherbound 10th Anniversary Edition. And it's so shiny. Okay. So these had been out of stock in the Brandon Sanderson store for a while. So after the Way of Kings Leatherbound Kickstarter, the demand for these editions just exploded and they have had a little bit of a difficulty keeping them in stock given that, uh, you know, there's paper shortages and stuff going on. And they had all of these Way of Kings leather bound that needed to get printed and made up. But on April 1st, the Sanderson store uh, put up a couple of extra copies that they had in their warehouse for sale to make room for all the Kickstarter stuff. And I was able to snag the Hero of Ages, which is the last of the leather bounds that I need. As soon as my Way of Kings Leather Bound arrives, I will have a complete collection. Well, there we go. It comes signed by Brandon. If you have seen any of Brandon Sanderson's live streams, he is always signing during his live streams. And one of the things he signs is the pages that get bound into these leather bound editions. So if you're wondering when they're going to be back in stock, uh, it's a great idea to keep an eye on those live streams to see what he's signing and what is going to be available in the future. But if you are interested in getting your hands on these leather bounds, the store definitely plans on continuing to reprint them as long as there is demand. So just be patient and wait for them to come back into the store. They will be in fact in stock eventually. So let's go ahead and switch to the overhead view so I can walk you guys through some of the beautiful art in this edition. So next I'm going to do a little flip through of the art, but I did just want to give a spoiler warning here. Since this is book three of the trilogy, there may be spoilers in some of the artwork. So if you have not read the original Mistborn trilogy and you want to avoid spoilers, you can leave and come back when you are done. If you want to see other editions of Leatherbounds, I will go ahead and link up in the cards to one of my other Leatherbound reviews for you guys to check out. So this edition features a really beautiful brown leather with gold foiling. We have the different elementic symbols in the corners and we have tin here in the center. Uh, the first two books had iron and steel, and now we have tin. So on the spine, we have tin again, and the title, and Brandon's name, and the little dragon steel logo, which is super cool. And these additions do feature these really nice uh, hubs. They look super, super fancy and luxe. And then the design on the back is the same as the design on the front. 
So this book features End Papers by Mark Simonetti. Really, really beautiful atmospheric piece going on here. Shop the cover page. Move into the art gallery. The first piece is the US hardcover. Then we have the US paperback cover as well as the US YA paperback cover. This piece here is really interesting. It's actually an alternative cover for the US YA paperbacks uh, that they ended up not selecting, but it's really cool. And I'm kind of sad that they didn't use this cover because I love that there's Ellen and I feel like he needs to be on more covers. He's such a great character, especially in the back half of the series. And then we have a, some cover art from one of the graphic audio. We have the UK cover, as well as one of the Japanese covers. And we have some art from two more editions that are really high on my list. We have the uh, Polish uh, slash Dutch cover over here that features Ellen and Vin. Really want to get the hand, my hands on those, as well as the Chinese cover which features this beautiful sort of stained glass inspired art. Really love the Chinese covers as well. Then we're gonna move into the fan art section. This piece is by Giselle Almeida. This one is by Miranda Meeks. And lastly, we have a piece by Kelly Harris. And we also have some beautiful maps done by Isaac Stewart. I'm a sucker for a good map. And we have the table of hemallergic metals. And they all the leather bounds come signed by Brandon. And here is the copyright page. And I have a second printing here. Oh, interesting. Looks like we have another set of the maps printed on regular paper. Bikes going on there. And then just an example of one of the chapter headers. And then again, we have another really, really beautiful art piece here in the back end papers. So that's all I have for today. I am so excited to have this book in my collection and now to have all of the leather browns. They're really, really gorgeous uh, collector's editions. And if you are interested, I highly recommend. They are expensive, but the quality is definitely there. So this, it, after the Way of Kings Leather Bound Kickstarter, perhaps you need to be banished from the room. But there were a few uh, copies. Why are you chewing on the bottom? 